Hi, and welcome back to the channel, guys. We are continuing The Expanse. This is season five, episode five, titled Down and Out. Holy fuck. Let's just, yeah, once again, last episode. That's one of the best episodes of any series I've seen in a long, long while. And yeah, it was both exhilarating, exciting and awesome, but sad and tragic. And we got mad and it was just all the feelings all over the place mm. during that 45 minute episode or something. Um, and now, yeah, we're going to see what all the repercussions, what they are going to be with Earth and Mars. And we didn't even get to talk about the attack that happened on Mars as well. The parliament, I think it was, that got bombed. Uh, so they didn't. he didn't throw any rocks at Mars, but he still attacked both Earth, Mars, sent out the big message with we are the free Navy and um, don't F with us or we'll just unleash the protomolecule on both planets, either planet. Uh, how he's going to go about that, I don't know. But um, so many questions, so much happened. Uh, even losing someone like Fred, that's going to have uh, huge consequences for the belt as well. I'm curious about drama now. Yeah, she must be pissed out of her yes, mind. Because if, if like Ashford dying angered her, you know, a lot. And, and she was almost spinning out of control because of that. Um, then Fred dying. I think that's going to pull her back into the game because because she just got to the, okay, I'm, I'm going to go out and avenge Asford. And, and then she talked to her uh, partner or friend there on the ship that she's um, on right now with her family, new family, and kind of decided against it and just sent the information to Fred instead. But yeah, now but like she did save the the, the bottle. bottle, so that might have been a little bit of a foreshadowing there. Yeah, it wasn't one hundred percent closure. Uh, yeah. So she's most likely gonna you know get back into to the whole thing, and then it, yeah, Amos, what where he is right now? Um, thankfully, like way up like uh, underground, so that uh, he must be have been protected from the shock wave, and he's there with uh, Melba or Peaches. And now they're probably going to have to like fight their way out of there or something because it's filled with very dangerous people. And um, but at least that's the type of situation that Amos is um, more comfortable with than anything else. It's OK. The world is ending. Now I know what to do. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, expecting for him to, to take charge in that situation. Definitely. Uh, wow. Yeah, there's still more we can get into, but should we just jump into the episode maybe? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Fair enough. Let's do it. And you can, of course, always check out our full length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions for The Legend of Korra, where we are several episodes ahead. It's all over on Patreon and the link is down in the description below. Oh, shit. And here we go. This attack was retribution for generations of atrocities committed by the Inners against innocent Belters. Okay, I'm getting chills by just watching this uh, previously on. <laughs> he is a very charismatic speaker. Drummer's faction. There we go. Fuck. And she's gonna... Mm. And to think that you could have ended that earlier, yeah. Naomi, this will be breaking her heart. Yeah. This is bad. All Belters will have to answer for Marco's Exactly. Maybe it was inevitable. Fred Johnson didn't believe that. Maybe this means a future without Earth's food on our neck. Can't be sad about that. The Earth never shed tears for us. <sighs> Guys. It's hard to believe too much for them. Marco Anaros has asked us to meet. <sighs> Who? We will accept. Oh, damn. No, is that a good idea? Shit. Yeah. All right, Amos. Clarissa. She's, she's alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was ripped out of her arm. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Oh. I got you. I got you. Poor Clarissa. That must have been an earthquake. Um, oh, yeah, they don't know. In Africa. Africa. Maybe this is the aftershock from that. Okay, he actually knew about that before he came. Yeah, I don't know how he knew about 
It's like I stayed on this mud ball a day too long. <laughs> Oh yeah, they are locked in. Oh, we're in lockdown. Inmates remain in place until we hear from upstairs. Me too. You still haven't heard anything. Yeah. <laughs> because the it's upstairs is gone. Yep. Every minute that we spend talking is another minute that we could be getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Listen to him, and he will protect you. Yes. You inform me when we get topside. <laughs> yeah. What's the deal? But Tristan is down everywhere. Elevators is there's anyone to report anything to exactly yeah uh, I thought so it's just my knee I'll be fine there should be a maintenance ladder in the elevator shaft good idea I got a bad idea you okay oh yep Yeah, that guy, of course. <laughs> so, what's new? <laughs> About eleven hours. He should be all right to do it. Do what? Open the door. Oh damn! Yep. Even without the mods, he's a big guy. Holy fuck! Nice work. Mm hmm. That's too bad. No. Oh no. No fucking ladder. No fucking ladder. <sighs> what the hell are they gonna do? Naomi, I need to know where you are. <sighs> Things are not good. I haven't heard from my parents. Looks like the whole Montana did. Oh fuck yeah, his family. You process on this station is what I say it is. I'll feed you to the mushrooms, one finger in <laughs> and I'll eat them in front of you. It doesn't have to go that far. Working on a Urta station for an Urta, and an Urta, and an Urta. You think that's what better lot are working? You're working for people. You cracked your hand, Terminal? Nice try, you're not that smart. Didn't have to be. Monica's eye captured the Zemir's flight plan. See you when you get back. Oh, she did something to the Rossi. Yeah, of course. Yeah, she was working on it and repairing it, so most likely sabotaged it. We have to get Tiny up there and have private doors open. Would you call me? Maybe we could. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> I need you to sink one here and here. Are you kidding? Just do it. Want to get out? Mm-hmm. The maintenance ladder is back there. Hmm. Tiny, come here. Stop calling me that. <laughs> this open. Amos has a nickname for almost everybody. Oh. Oh. Nice. Very glad he's on our side right now. Right now, guy. yeah. And he seems chill enough. Like. Watch your hands. It's gonna take a little while. And I hope they have enough ammo for all that. Yeah, yeah, same. They must have. We can't let them get away. We've got a fast ship. We can run if we have to. Uh, you also have to be careful. Yeah, there's still a big question. Like, how how much is Mars working with Marco? And how many ships? And how big is his fucking free navy? Because it is a, a Martian ship that they're on now. Yeah, they some Martian funded them. Yeah, or like Marco bought a lot of it, or like where did Marco even get the money or the pool to? Yeah, still questions. It's not your famous red kibble, but it's the job now. Shit. I'd rather go back to my cell. You are not a prisoner. <laughs> you are free to go wherever. Okay, then let me off this fucking ship. Back to my ship and leave. Yeah. That is what you do best. You're just letting her go. There is nowhere for her to go. Throw this Martian shit into the recycler. We'll pick up proper provisions when we oh. resupply. There's no need to play with her like that. Go. Thank you for standing up mm -hmm. to this fucking asshole. You're angry with me. I'm disappointed. 
That's mom for angry. If you brought your mother here, do you think that she can be saved? <laughs> Oh, no. Other way around, man. <laughs> that is what disappoints me the most. Feel whatever you feel. Huh? Let those feelings rule you. Not bad advice, but <laughs> this on these circumstances. From the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really hope Philip is gonna be the one to fucking betray Marco in the end. But nothing can make up for what he did at this point. I'm recalibrating the scrubbers, and help. What do you think is going to happen? Just trying to take your mind off of things. Mm -hmm. I always thought that you would be there for me. Marcos. Stop calling me that. You let Marco poison your heart and Phillips, and I will never forgive you for that. We had to do it. What do you mean? He's trying to build something for all the children of the belt. And he's building it on a river of blood mm -hmm. with your help. This is Officer Sullivan from Medblock. If you can hear me call out, we'll try and get to you. There has to be someone up there at the contact. Unless there was a cave in or a fire. Mm. Or they're already dead. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Oh no! Oh, I had a f bad feeling that that was maybe gonna happen. Get your mother's leg for the last half hour. I'm the game out. I said get your ass down here. No, you come up. I'm almost at the top. Okay, who do we trust here? <laughs> but it's biometric. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Amos can't use it. It's over. Let's just keep. Uh oh, what happened? <gasps> no, 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 shit! <sighs> Fuck you, God! You missed the gas! Shut up! <laughs> Don't tempt fate, my friend. Don't fucking jinx it. There's daylight! Daylight? We're almost there. Let's go! Oh, you're gonna get a surprise once you get topside. Oh, a building up there. There was. It was gone. And that was a pretty weird way of saying it is gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Naomi, what are you doing? Eating? This must remind her a little bit of. Um, yep. Rocinante. Coffee machine. No one is coming to save you. After what you did to Marco, he will never let you go. There is only one way you will ever leave this ship. <laughs> she just really hates Naomi, huh? Mm hmm. <gasps> what the f That's risky, Naomi. Don't do stuff out of. Oh, oh my no, god. No, 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 no. She's no. just gonna go straight for Marco. Not gonna get to do it. No, but she might die. I don't see that happening. Oh. We are busy. And you have no business here. Did he notice? You were grateful to me for taking you. You saved her life. <laughs> All right, surprise. God, this guy's really having a blast. <laughs> the building's just fucking gone. Oh, <gasps> no, no, no. Amos, fuck, you can't. Oh. Oh, there we go. Fuck. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Shit, Amos. That was some move. I think she's starting to realize just 
how fucked everyone is. I'm supposed to get my kid this weekend. Yeah, exactly. She's a prisoner. I'm supposed to go find your kid. Yeah, yeah. go find your family if you can. You okay? <laughs> now she's laughing. Oh, must feel nice. At least. I never thought I'd feel it again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What do we do now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good question. <sighs> Go back to Baltimore? I... Okay, what what are what are you all doing now? Holden and oh yeah, okay, they're going to the Rossi and then I'm gonna realize something is up with the fucking ship. Which one's the pilot? I'm looking at him. Oh fighting MLCRs for the core. Bit more to fly in the Rossi than a marine dropship. I can handle it. Somehow I actually trust that he can. Yes. No, don't. Tell me something. Yeah. Did Marco slip the Augustine Gamara code into the Rossi? <gasps> <gasps> oh, and that's how she's gonna warn them. Don't start up the ship. Sabotaged. We have to shut it down. Fuck. Tell me what happened. I have to write the note. Tell me. Let's get some profiles. All right. Pure reconnaissance. No need to engage. Like the keeps moving out. Must have transferred the weapons already. The frigates are the weapons. That's the deal. This is Marco we know as his free navy. Yeah. His belt is on our Martian ships. Crap, they pinged us. Shit. Time to go. Here comes the juice. Fuck. <laughs> Move fast. We have to see ship profiles to Abasarala. Oh, no signal. Fuck. One more thing. To try. Come on, Alex. Very quickly stopping again. Oh, emergency core dump. Oh. Come on. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> These cliffhangers! Uh, they're doing it again. Oh my god. So that was episode 5. We are now halfway through season 5. Wow. It, like, it just keeps... Like, the intensity, it's there all the way. Didn't even get to check in on Earth that much, except for the whole Amos situation and what he and... Um, Clarissa, what they were dealing with, with the prison. Didn't get to see Avasarala or Felix and anyone there on, on, on Luna. So uh, we, we still need to get like the scope of the destructions on Earth with all three rocks. How much really happened? Uh, we only got a just a little bit of a sense of, at least with once again with Amos and how that uh, prison, you know, the top side there, it was just <laughs> all gone. Yeah, there away. was a lot of, um, first off, there was a lot of um, winter. I know it was cold already, so it was probably there was snow. There was, there was snow already. Yeah, but I think this is this only made it even worse. Like and nuclear winter sort of deal. Yeah, yeah. And then we saw that the water was pretty close. Yeah, it was before, wasn't it? Yeah, because we were close to the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, Bay, sorry, Chesapeake Bay. Mm-hmm. But we, I don't think it was that close. I don't know. It, but when when they did the overhead thing and and uh, with the like zooming in on the prison in in that episode, um, that must have been, yeah. Well, uh, the previous one, um, they were like coming over the water, like the water was like right there, like, okay. up up to the prison. So I I don't think like the tsunami. Um, just flooded the entire area or something. Um, I, I'm not quite sure. That's 
what I meant with like we we still need to like get a grasp of like the scope of of the destruction and exactly what happened if if we're gonna get to to see that or maybe they're just um, gonna mention it briefly uh, just how much people are suffering on Earth right now um, and and yeah people are gonna be looking for their loved ones just like we saw the, that prison guard in the end her realizing that I'm supposed to pick up my kid this weekend um, and if the kid lives close by or you know if, if, if she lives close by to where she's working for yeah um yeah and damn. and also uh holden mentioned that he hasn't heard from his family either mm. and he said they were in montana so perhaps there was a lot of uh they might have experienced uh some some fallout there fallout well. in a way yeah or, yeah uh, and also um we still don't know with Avasarala, her family, how yeah. they are faring. So there's a lot of people we have no clue. Definitely. Um, and even, yeah, with just a few people we got to know in Baltimore. Um, was that just it? Or are we going to maybe see them again? I have a feeling that maybe we're going to see Eric again at some point. That maybe he would have survived this or would have been able to get into a secure bunker or something. Because he's a important mob dude um we'll see uh but that was fucking intense them trying to get out of the prison let's yeah. just uh, get into that first yeah. uh, and and we were right in assuming that 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 guy with uh, all the mods the, the the big dude tiny as amos called him he was gonna become you know important in in a way and a problem as well yeah in the beginning he was helping out but of course that he was had an interest you know in getting out same as the others um so yeah she had interest there helping them out I'm, I'm still curious if he actually was the one who threw that other guy off and, and it wasn't because of his knee um probably never gonna find out but he did show his true colors in the end and just started taking them out almost took out amos Fuck, not, not that I was afraid that he was going to die, because that would be like kind of an anticlimactic way of dying for, for Amos just right there and then. But yeah, that was a difficult, uh, he was a tough dude to deal with mm -hmm. and, and then kill as well. But that, the move that Amos made where he just like reached around him and then just uh, almost like a wrestling move uh, of sorts. Yeah, and using the momentum of... Um this whole like lift using the momentum to get him out and away and, and down down <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i think maybe the guy who plays tiny that he might be a wrestler so i think that wrestling thing might have been you know the wrestling uh yeah the move that yeah, amos it, made it, it might have been a notch to that wrestling a nod yeah mm. yeah a nod. yes so that was a nice little possible reference to that and you know just him grabbing him and just getting him the Fudge out of there. <laughs> yeah, down, down and out. Yeah. But th that could be <laughs> the title, actually. Yeah, down and out, yeah. Down and out. <laughs> he got thrown down and out. But either way, yeah, they, they got out of there, thankfully. And then we got the Naomi situation uh, on board Marco's ship. The Paya? Was that the name of it? Pela? Paya? Something? Uh, that was also a reference to Alexander the Great, I believe. Um, but... She's struggling, definitely. Holy fuck. Uh, Marco is just manipulating left and right. Everybody around him. Uh, telling her that she can leave, but not really, because she gave her ship to Philip and Philip. And, but yeah, um, it's just still getting a little bit angry every time we see him on screen. Um, although the actor is doing a great job, of course, with, with the role. And he is a... Um, very inspirational speaker in a lot of ways like he's good at motivating people but that's also because he's so fucking manipulative and he knows what to do and say to like push the right buttons um and and he's still doing that with naomi and doing it with philip as well the whole i'm not angry i'm disappointed sort of thing but thankfully there are actually people on this ship who's um sympathetic towards naomi at least, or trying to explain things and not being just so evil. <laughs> One note, uh, just like, I don't remember the name of uh, the, the lady that uh, keeps 
provoking Naomi, who's just fucking angry all the time. I don't know, maybe Naomi feels there's some sort of like a sliver of hope there that she can reach Philip. I think it's the other way around. I think I think Philip is seeing her mother as a not a lost cause, but like there's a sliver in her that he can kind of appeal to. And that's why he's not he's not willing to let her die or anything just yet. Yeah, cuz I think he might he is believing that she can be saved mm. and she can return to the old Belta way of seeing things. That's at least how I got it. Whereas she was setting out to do the exact same, but with Philip, where she was hoping that he... And we also got a little bit of an explanation for that, that how she was uh, always seeing Philip as being this kid who just barely learned to walk. And yeah. that's the way she's been seeing him for years because she has not seen him since. And of course, he has been, he's become a uh, a whole person now. Like he's, uh, that sounds wrong, but he's become, he's at least he's grown up. And yeah. he's become a completely other person than he was before. And it's very hard to, for her perhaps to let go of that ideal um, or that uh, thought of him. Mm. Like, but yeah. yeah, I don't know. Her, her image of, of him or what, what he was, um, then again, yeah, and who he is now. She doesn't really know him. Um, but but she still did manage to do some good in this episode. Very risky move. And and knocking out the guy that, that are actually trying to be nice towards mm. you and, and wants to kind of sort of help you in a way and, or at least trying to take her mind off of things. Uh, but yeah, she knocked him out with a fucking wrench. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> that looks like, yeah, that must have really hurt. He was bleeding yeah. a lot. And she at least got to then warn Holden that the Rosinante has been sabotaged. Don't start up the reactor. And he got that message. Whew. Um, still not expecting for them to just blow up the Rosinante and with Holden and everybody there. And then that's just the end of that storyline. But uh, it's still very intense. And that's once again what, what this show is doing so well. It's just uh, keeping it, us on our toes and giving us the, the sense that anything can happen at any moment, um, even to main characters. Like no one is, is really safe. Uh, so the, well done is just all I wanted to say. And speaking of Holden, he's really struggling as well. Just uh, not that he's alone alone but he is sort of alone like he doesn't have his his crew around him mm. the people that he usually like his family pretty much uh you, you could say just besides from his like real family you know what i mean uh, he the, has no one like literally no one he's completely alone because fred died and uh i think well he has bull but he basically yeah. He doesn't know the guy. No, not and that well, yeah. He has exactly. not. He has not heard from his family. He has not heard from Alex, from Amos, uh, for good reasons. They've all been doing this type of thing. He tried to reach out to Naomi so many times, and yeah. like he's completely alone now. I think also he has uh, Monica in a way, but not again. He doesn't know her that well either. So it's just yeah. he must feel so incredibly alone and so frustrated and. Backed frankly also a little bit yeah. afraid as well like scared and yeah just well Naomi showed up right on time telling him to power down but he must he must be so scared and so afraid of her because afraid for only, her yeah exactly the only thing that he's um he's, he's left with is just like this tiny snippet of her just being like, pulled away and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on in our ship being held hostage in the most body. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm being held hostage on Marco's ship. Um, and damn, yeah. Uh, now he does know at least where she is, so he doesn't have to wonder about that. Um, but I'm sure this this did not calm him in any fucking way at all, knowing that that's where she is. And we started the whole episode with uh, drama, actually seeing her reaction to all of this and her reaction was kind of exactly what we expected she's back in she's gonna do something she's going after 
Marco, and Marco has even invited her to a meeting. The balls on that guy, man. Yeah, dude, fuck. <laughs> um, but she did let him go back then, uh, and she definitely re- is regretting that now. But she also seems very committed. Like she knows this is what I want to do. This is what I need to do. She's not being like, oh, I need to figure this out or work this out uh, within myself or like my feelings, uh, just losing people close to me. No, she's just determined. She wants to do this thing. I'm afraid for her, uh, but I also know that she's capable as fuck. Yeah, but I I think this might be the end road for her. For drama? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Of course... I hope that she's gonna be able to take out Marco or at least just um, do something that's gonna sabotage Marco's plans. Um, We'll see, we'll see. But maybe this might actually be the ticket for, ticket out for Naomi. That might be true. That might be what she gets to accomplish is not taking Marco out, but at least rescuing Naomi. And I'm sure that that would be a big victory for Drama as well, because she really cares for for Naomi, and he, and even mentioned Naomi like how this must really be killing her. Yeah. Um. So she's very aware that um, of the whole situation with Marco and Naomi, obviously. But what I'm most afraid of, kind of in in that situation, is maybe the people that she's with, because some of them, not that they were saying that oh what Marco did was yay I applaud it. But they were kind of like, some of them was like, let's just like, yeah, this is going to make it way more difficult for us. But then uh, also, I don't really feel bad about the Inners and what happened to them here. Mm. So so it's like, it seems like she even like on her ship has people who has different uh, views on this. Uh, that might be an issue going forward. And then let's close the whole thing with Alex and Bobby. Still on the, uh, not the Razorback, but the Screaming Firehawk. And doing some reconnaissance, trying to figure out what is the link here between Mars and the belts. And they, yeah, figured out that, okay, they're not just selling them weapons and equipment, just ships, fucking ships. And that's how Marco is building his free navy Mm -hmm. is with the Martian ship. So we, we got that confirmed, definitely. And then they spotted them. And started chasing after them. Mm-hmm. And we got another fucking cliffhanger. <laughs> so yep. It's like, oh, did they get away or didn't they? Like, at least Alex had a trick up his sleeve there with dumping the core. Um, we've seen some seen them do that on the show before, I'm pretty sure. And how, how much damage that can do. But it also kind of spun them out of control. Uh, mm-hmm. So I... Oh shit! They're in a in a pickle as well. Everybody is is in a pickle, in a tough situation, a tough spot. In some cases, things are looking a little bit up compared to the last episode, at least. But that's a very low bar. Like the last episode, that's just when everything went down, uh, and now our heroes and everyone they have to recover from from what happened. Do you have anything else you want to add to it? Uh, just that I. Really, really, really feel bad for Naomi. Like the, as I said in the last one, I think this must be her worst nightmare. Mm, it really must be, um, and I, I think Dominic Tipper is doing a really good job. I think um, so convey, too. Conveying that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I think she's doing a great job, and I have uh, I have a hard time understanding some people how they don't like they feel that she's a bit. She's not really portraying Naomi that well, mm. but I, I don't know. I just think she's doing such a great job, and I really I can relate so much to her character and the mm. situation she's in. I think she's doing a good job. Yeah, okay. everybody's doing a good job still on on, on this uh, this series. Um, yeah, still amazing, amazing season so far, and we're only halfway, as I said up top. So we got five more episodes to go. But I think that's going to do it for this uh, reaction and review of The Expanse, Season 5, Episode 5. It was a bit of a shorter discussion this time around. Um, we're in a bit of a rush, so I, I hope you guys don't mind. But all that's left to say is just thank you guys so much for watching as always, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.